Shalom Wall. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Akak Nagash. Yahweh is the name of Heavenly Father, meaning He is, He exists, He to be. Ba'in, Ava, Sham, name, Yahweh Shai, be name of the God Son, meaning He delivered, He saves, Akak Nagash, Holy Spirit. Double honors to the Apostle Elvis Great Muslim of the world, peace, blessings, elected. Shalom and above all, back in it with the lust and spirit of power of Yahweh, Bash Moshai. Well, one of the videos edifying. All right. And pretty much this lesson was going into, you know, how could we, how could we endure if it wasn't for the Lord? You know, how could we ever make it through if it wasn't for Yahweh, Bash Moshai, man? Okay, because in Babylon, you know, and in this flesh, in this captivity, you're going to go through many different trials, tribulations, you know, and if the Lord hadn't, you know, supported us, supported us, and helped us, and has been our state throughout all this, we would have never made it, man, okay, because this place really is designed to destroy you, you know, but when you return back to Yabash Malshai, and you put your trust in the Lord, you abide in his secret place. You know, that's as a covert, you know, that's as a shelter from times of, uh, of tribulation, man. It's a strong tower, you know? So if it wasn't for Yahweh Basham Shai, man, we would have never been able to get through any of this, man. And the, the main point is to endure to the end. Okay, as you say, he, uh, he that is dirt to the head the same shall be saved, man. So we got to endure. So we got to endure to the end in this thing, man. All right, this is Lamentations chapter 3, starting at verse uh, 21. It says, This I recall to my mind, therefore ha <clears throat> have I hope. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed, because his compassions fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, saith my soul. Therefore will I hope in him. The Lord is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him, man. That's right. So if we want to receive good from the hand of Yahweh Shemashai, we have to wait upon him. We have to endure to the end. Okay, and we have to constantly, continually seek the Lord's face, man. You know, Psalms uh, 27. Okay. And seeking the Lord's face ultimately is seeking this uh, wisdom and understanding. First and foremost, man. Okay, and applying these scriptures. Because it's one thing to just, you know, hear the word, but it's a whole other thing to hear the word and be a doer of the word. Okay? And that's what we ought to be doing. You know? But it's of the Lord's mercies that we're not consumed, man. The fact that Yahweh has withstand, uh, you know, sustained us to withstand everything thus far, you know? It's of the Lord's mercies, man. And like Shur say, though our outward man perish, yet our inward man is renewed day by day. So these bodies are breaking down daily, man. All right, we're killing off the old man daily. How about Shur Shai this out? Okay, and there's going to be days in this truth where you're not going to be feeling so great. Okay, there's going to be days in this truth where you're going to be feeling like you want to give up the ghosts. Okay, sometimes it'll be like that. But Yahweh about Shur Shai still get you through that and there'll be days in this truth where you might have had a near life uh, uh, or near death experience man but you how about you still got you here still pushing man all right so you know we got to be appreciative of that of course you know it sucks living in this present world and in the flesh you know because of the troubles and the perils that come with it but it is a gift and a privilege to be alive to do the work of Yahweh Shemashai and, and, and really to increase our names, you know, with the Lord. All right. I remember the brother Gabar was saying that, which we're, which really that's scriptural. Okay. Because it goes back to Sirach 39. You know, it talks about a, a righteous man, how, you know, his memorial is going to live to all generations. You know, and if he die, he shall have a greater name than a thousand. And if he live, he shall increase it. So pretty much... While we're alive in this truth, you know, we, we have another, we have uh, every day that we wake up pretty much, that's another opportunity and another day to be able to add to our righteous works, you know, to Yahweh Bashem Of course, 
we're not saved by works. We're saved through the Lord's grace and his mercy. Because if we're going strictly off works, you know, I'll speak for myself. I know them. Well, I sure as hell can't make it then. Okay? Because, yeah, we might do the work. We might study. You know, we might try our best to keep the commandments. But our righteousness, that's filthy rags. Okay? That's why we need a Yahweh shot to die for us. You know? But at the same time, scriptures do say faith without works is dead. So we try our best to be balanced in that. Okay? To believe in the Lord. To believe in his grace. But also to shoot forth our works that we do believe. Okay, the scriptures all say, you know, faith without works is dead, man. You see, this is uh, Psalms 124, starting at verse 1. It says, A song of degrees of David, if it had not been the Lord who was on our side, now may Israel say, If it had not been the Lord who was on our side, when men rose up against us, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us, right? And in this truth, sometimes you're going to face. You're going to have to face, uh, you know, being hated from men, okay? And, and, and it could be from your own family or it could be from outside of your family, man. It could be your friend, you know, but at the end of the day, how I told us, this is what, you know, you shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. And when people hate you, you know, most of the time, you don't respond well to that, okay? But, but... Really, if somebody's hating on you for righteousness' sake, then you should be happy. You know, look at it as a as a, as, a, as, a, as a, a confirmation in the spirit that the Lord is dealing. Okay, because you know when everybody else has something good to say about you, you know they never have anything bad to say about you. More than likely, it's because you're being a man pleaser, man. You know, now of course brothers do have honest report. For the most part, Akimah have honest reports. So, you know, people, most of the time, people would say good things about you, okay? But, you know, sometimes you do have some people who have negative things to say about you, okay? Really because they're just wicked, all right? And they see, they, they, they sense the righteousness within you, and they abhor that because they're wicked, you know? So, so that's why they're going to try to say negative things about you. And sometimes you might not even be doing anything, but they still just don't like me. You never gave them a reason to not like you, but like Shur say, they hated me without a cause, man, but how would we be able to get through all that if Yahweh Shur Shai wasn't with us, man? These people, we try to frustrate our purpose. These people try to, you know, hinder us however they can, all right? You know? So, someone who's weak, okay? Which, you know, we're all weak. We're in the flesh. Don't get me wrong, but someone who's weak in the spirit, weak in the faith, you know, they, that would that would make them want to shivel and crumble, you know, like that seed sown amongst a rock, you know, he wasn't rooted, so when the persecution came, you know, by and by, he was offended, all right, and that's the thing, you, we, we can't be offended at anything that happens to us in this truth, man, we still have to, you know, overcome all right, the bitterness that we go through in this truth, man, we have to be able to take that as well as the sweet. And that's the balance. A lot of people are not willing to go through the bitterness for Yahweh Bashmashai. Okay, but the Lord has to be with you to endure through all that, man. It's not like we're doing it of our own strength. Because if it was of our own strength, we wouldn't have made it. You know, that's why it's such a, a beauty to acknowledge the fact that if it wasn't for the Lord, man, you know, if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashmashai's mercies, you know, we would we would be consumed, man. Okay, that's why the scripture say, uh, Malachi, I the Lord changed not, therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Meaning what? That Yahweh Bashmashai, he doesn't change. He still has his covenant with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob and their seed after them. You see, so that's the only reason why we're not consumed. Because if because if the Lord changed, then guess what, man? We wouldn't be we wouldn't we wouldn't receive that promise. He changed his mind. But no, the Most High is not a man that he should repent. So it pleased the Lord to make us his people. And it pleased the Lord to give us the kingdom. All right? Yahweh Shemashah Zah, we be worthy to obtain his mercy the first time around. Okay? Lord willing, we be worthy to obtain salvation the first time Yahweh Shemashah return. Okay? You know, and I'm talking about this upcoming return of Yahweh Shemashah. Because two-thirds, they're going to be destroyed on the side, but they're going to come back in the kingdom. All right, but we pray that we can obtain salvation in the day of judgment. All right, we pray that we could obtain uh, mercy in the day of judgment for the wicked, man. 
But like it says, they had swallowed us up quick, man. When their wrath was kindled, uh, it says, I'm going to read this again, Psalms 24 and verse 3. But they had, they had, then they had swallowed us up quick when their wrath was kindled against us. Right. And that's, you can even apply that to these times now where Esau is going to come in with, with that martial law. Scripture say he's going to come in like a flood, man. Okay. So that's the proud waters. All right. You know, and Esau is likened unto a proud man. So the water, so the Lord is personifying the waters, which really is symbolic of Esau Edom is martial law troops coming in to pretty much take our soul, man, and to destroy us. You know, but Yahweh Bashmashah is going to lift up a standard against these devils, you know, to, to even the playing field. Because when Esau comes in, he's coming in with, with all different types of technologies and all different types of killing instruments with the sword, man. So, you know, if we're just going off of the might that we have in our hands right now, which is not much in comparison to this devil when it comes to, you know, weaponry and the technology, you know, how will we make it, man? That's why we need Yahweh Bashmashah to have, uh, you know, these angels... Give, uh, come in with divine intervention and lift up that standard for us, man, and protect us and deliver us from the sword, man, because, you know, without the Lord, man, we wouldn't be able to get through it, man, okay? That's why I said they would have swallowed us up quick, man. All right, Psalms 1, uh, 24 and 4 says, then the waters had overwhelmed us. The stream had gone over our soul. All right, verse 5, then the proud waters had gone over our soul. Yeah. These martial law troops, Esau, Edom, the proud waters. But also, you know, these people be coming in like a flood sometimes too, man, you know, in your day-to-day -day life. But looking at the breakdown for face value, that's going into Esau, Edom, man. You know, verse 6 says, Blessed be the Lord who have not given us as a prey to their teeth. Right, their teeth represents their military might. Okay, so... Really, like to say, he that departed from evil maketh himself a prey. Whereas a prey to these worlds, these people are constantly hunting us down. These demons constantly hunting us down through these people, and a lot of times these people don't even know what they're doing. They don't know that they're coming up against the men of the Lord. You know, Lord willing, we be those men. They don't know what they're doing. They think they're justified. Like Yahweh I said, the time comes when uh, he that kills you thinketh that he will do the most highest service, man. You know, these people really think that they're. You know, committing justice by coming up against the many Yahweh Shai, but really, that's to their own snare and detriment, man. Like Yahweh Shai said, you know, these for, uh, for they know not what they do. These people don't know what they're doing. And that's why it also says in the book of Acts, if they knew Yahweh Shai was the prince of this world, they would have never crucified him, man. And guess what? Us being his uh, servants, like Yahweh Shai said, the servant is not greater than his master, man. You know, if they call the master of the house Beals above, how much more of them would be of his household, man? So if they call you Shai a devil, Satan, and he was, and he, and he was, you know, perfect when he came. All right, Yahushai is amongst the most righteous men that ever walked this earth. You know, how much more us, man? Okay. So don't marvel if the world hates you. Okay, like Shai told us, but at the same time. How, how could you be able to endure through all that hate if it wasn't for Yahweh Bashamashai's love? You know, that's the balance. So it says, uh, our souls escape as a bird out of the snare of the fowlers. The snare is broken and we are escaped. Yeah, we, the Lord, the Lord, he's going to deliver us in many different miraculous ways in these times, man. You know, like a bird out of the snare of a fowler. And we're going to be scarcely saved. And that really is to show the power of the Lord. Not that... Not that every situation, you, you know, you're going to be scarcely saved. Because there's going to be some situations where the Lord saves you with a great salvation, you know. But there's also going to be some certain situation where you're like, man, I, that, that shit just missed me. Damn. You know. And it's going to be like, man, that's that's the mercy of Abba Shemeshah. It's going to say how the righteous shall be scarcely saved, man. So if the righteous be scarcely saved, where shall the sinner and, and the ungodly appear, man? You know, the men of Yahweh Shai, the elect are just making it. How much more are you niggas in the world? You don't stand a chance. And that's why, going back to the topic of the lesson, how could we endure if it wasn't of the Lord's will? You know, if it wasn't for the Lord. Okay? For, uh, Psalms 24 and 8. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Right? 
Okay, that's who our help is. Yeah. Our help is in Yahweh Shemashai. Not our own weapons, not our own might, not our own wisdom or strength, you know, riches, whatever. No, our help is in Yahweh Shemashai. And that's what you want your help to be of because the Lord is a present help in the time of trouble. Everything else really can deliver you if the Lord doesn't want you delivered. No matter how much strength you got, no matter how much money you got, no matter how much weapons you got, you know, there's no fighting chance when it comes to Yahweh Shai. If the Lord is against you, there's no fighting chance. You're going to lose, okay? But if the Lord is with you, you know, even though people may come up against you, guess what? Yahweh Shai is going to deliver you, man. And they're not going to be able to do anything against you. The Lord said, where is a brazen wall? And, and, and though they fight against us, you, you know, they won't prevail over us, man. That's in the book of Jeremiah. Okay, also Jeremiah says, the Lord is with me as a mighty, terrible one. You know, so a lot, a lot of these people, they're going to see how mighty and how terrible Yahweh Mashai is when they try to step to his elect. You know, they're going to see the Lord's power when they try to step to his elect. And you see a degree of that now. You see a portion of that now. You know? Sometimes certain people might try to mess with you. And you see the Lord get them for that. You know, the Lord the Lord uh, recompenses them for that. And vice versa. You know, it's a two-edged sword because the most times not a respected person. So when you come in the wrong spirit towards someone else, the Lord will get you for that too. You know? But imagine how much more you being one of his men and you're in the right spirit and some people are just messing with you for no reason. Oh no, the Lord, he's going. And, and it may not be in, in, in every moment. It may not be right there on the spot. Sometimes it's a little delayed. Just so the Lord can, you know, try your faith or whatever the case might be. Everything, you know, is, is, is for a righteous cause. When you how about Shemeshah? Everything, you know, there's a bigger picture when it comes to the Lord. So, you know, so that's where the endurance and the patience comes in. But eventually the Lord will vindicate you, man. And he will avenge you. The Lord say in Revelation 18 over Babylon, rejoice thou over her, and ye holy of prophets uh, and apostles, but for paraphrasing, you know, for, for you, how about which I have avenged you on her, man. So we're going to rejoice at the, at the at the desolation of the wicked. We're going to see, the scripture say how the righteous shall, uh, shall, uh, shall rejoice, you know, and say, verily there is a reward for the righteous, verily he is a power that judges the earth, man. But how could we endure through all that if it wasn't for you? How about you shine, man? Because some this man, this place can weigh down on you. And if you focus too much on it, you know, you might be overcome with that bitterness. But you have to trust in the Lord and you have to meditate and call to mind his mercies and how because of his mercies and his compassion, we're not consumed, man. So if it wasn't for Yahweh Shine, we wouldn't be able to endure in this thing, man. So for all you dudes who, who are too proud. You know, to give the Lord his credit, you ain't gonna last long, man. Okay, because you cannot make it on your own. You cannot make it on your own. And everything that you do, that's because the Lord allowed you to do it. He gave you the ability to do it. You know? So you can't be proud and be like, yeah, of my own hand, I did all of this. No, the Lord gave me the spirit to do that. How can you boast? How can the axe uh, or, you know, or the saw boast himself against him that's shaken? They roughly paraphrase man. You know, here it is. You're just a tool in the most size toolbox. And you can't, you're not going to get put to use unless the Lord makes you of use. You know? But you want to boast and say, oh yeah, I'm the reason why this job got done. No, you know, the only reason why the job got done is because the Lord put the spirit on you to get it done, man. Period. Right? So, you know, the Lord willing we be a part of that elect. The only reason why we are of that elect is because Yahweh Bashmashah decided to make us of that number, not because we deserved it or it was of our own works or anything of that nature, man. You know? But Yahweh Bashmashah's grace and his mercy allows us to be what we what we are in this truth, man. You know, working according to his power mightily. Alright? This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 11, or verse 25. It says, And how could it happen? And how could anything have endured if it had not been thy will or been preserved if not called by thee? Right. So 
How can anything endure or be preserved if Yahweh, which I have not ordained in her? You see? It says, But thou spirits all, for they are thine, O Lord, thou lover of souls. Right, yeah, the Most High is really merciful to all flesh when you think about it. But he also is like yeah, the lesson got cut off, but um yeah, Yahweh is merciful to all flesh, but he's also he also has mercy and wrath, man. You know, he can have mercy on someone and he could judge someone. And that mercy is gonna get put on suspension, or that grace period is gonna get put on suspension when all hell breaks loose, because that's gonna be a time of judgment. And the only ones that are gonna obtain that mercy and that grace in a time of trouble is the elect. Okay. You know, and the Lord's wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He's going to keep his elect uh, stable in these times. While everybody's, you know, crashing out, not knowing what to do, no mental clarity, no, no comfort. The elect are going to be stable, Isaiah 33 and 6. But that's of the will of the Lord. See? So, in order for us to obtain that grace and that mercy in the time of judgment, you know, ultimately, first and foremost, it's, it has to be given to you of Yahweh Shemashai. But also, we got to put in that work, man. Hebrews 4 11 says, let us labor to enter into that rest, man. Okay, that's what it is. We gotta, you know, give diligence to make our calling and election sure, man. And the only way we'd be able to do that is if the Lord gave us the spirit to do it. Okay? It's not like we have the choice. You know, Yahweh Bashmashai has to help us through that, man. And that's what the Lord is teaching us. He's teaching us to stay upon him, to rely upon him, not to trust in anything else. By him, don't trust in your own might, don't trust in Babylon, don't trust in man, don't trust in any device, trust in Yahweh Bashmashai. Okay, and that's what the Lord is teaching us, man. Because that's the only uh you know, that's the only route for deliverance. Okay? The Lord said, I am the savior, you know, besides me, there is none else, man. Okay. There is no other God besides me. So there's nothing else that can deliver you besides Yahweh Bashmashai, man. You know? And it's Yahweh Bashmashai who gives us the ability to do what we do that we may obtain his mercy, man. You know? That we may be delivered from sinning against him and being delivered from our temptation. Philippians 2 and 13, it says, For it is Yahweh Bashmashai which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure. That's right. So. It's all Yahweh Bashmashai that works within us to do his good will and his good pleasure, man. It's not of our own might. So if it wasn't for the Lord, you know, how could we endure, man? So I just wanted to touch on a lesson on that because, you know, Babylon could get could get the best of you sometimes, man. But you got to just fight through it. You got to understand what you signed up for. You got to count the cost and no heaviness, mourning, lamentations and woe. You know, this is a part of the truth, bitterness. OK, but it's also balance. You know, Yahweh Bashmashai. It, it, it is is uh, balance. He's a balanced power. So you might go through the bitter, but there'll be times where you go through the sweet, man. Okay? And at the end of the day, even though you might be going through the bitter, you still have the sweet as in the comfort in the scriptures, man. And, and the expectation of our hope, you know, and the reward of our labor. You know? So, that's the point of that right there. I just want to touch on that, Lord. Will this video is edifying? I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem El Shai, Bashem Kadash, double honors to the Apostle Elders, Great Muslim, that rule well, peace, blessed to the elect of Israel. Shalom and above all.